Hi, this is Mark from LongIronWatch.com, and before we get into today's video, just on a quick personal note, a lot of people have been commenting, uh, hey Mark, are you okay? Your eyes are half closed. You look tired. You look dead. Well, the truth is I do have a condition. Um, I think it's, I think it, it afflicts a lot of people. It's called three kids, three young kids. Well, not really that young anymore, but uh, and you know, <laughs> it just kind of takes a toll on my sleep. Uh, so that's it, guys. Nothing wrong with me. Just don't get enough sleep. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about uh, Martinero Edgemere Reserve. The Edgemere Reserve I saw back in October, November, whenever the wind up fair was in the end of uh, 18. Uh, and it's what made me actually, I guess, want to get the brand and sell it. Uh, beautiful looking watches. I've got uh, three of them in the store here for you on camera. I'll do my wrist check, Orient Mako USA 2 with the white dial. Uh, guys, the um, the coin edge and sub-style bezels that I'm selling for Orient Makos and Rays fit this watch. Um, so you can do that and then change up all your inserts. And uh, I post this one on Instagram this past, I think it was this past weekend, yes it was, uh, the uh, TGV 1521 Squally. Let's um, let's check out Martin Arrow. So let's get into it. I've got three, woo, three, edge. I got three kids. I got three Edgemere reserves to show you today. I believe there's five total that um that they're doing. I'm choosing to carry three of them at this point. The first thing that pops into my mind when looking at all these and when I saw them for the first time ever was the use of color is amazing, beautiful. I. Uh, it's kind of got that, you know, nautical marine style, of course, uh, but just everything, the way it's done, the way it's designed is just gorgeous. So um, I've got three of them, and really, honestly, in no particular order, I, I can't say I have a, a killer favorite of, of one over any other, uh, but we'll just go over the one, and then we'll do the other two. Uh, so we're looking at a 40 millimeter case, 12 thick to a, uh, a beautiful sapphire crystal. 47 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. It does have a 20 millimeter lug. It is uh, 30 meters of water resistance. And you know what else is pretty cool? It's got a screw down crown. Even though it is only 30 meters of water resistance, it still has a screw down crown. Again, going back to that kind of marine or nautical inspiration. Uh, it runs on a Miyota and actually, by the way, they're all kind of dead, as you can see from the power reserve needle. So if they're stopped, it's not because they're broken. I just did not wind them so I can show you the power reserve. Uh, it runs on a Miyota 9132, which is a 26 joule automatic hand winding hacking movement. Has a power reserve indicator, a 24 hour wheel. Um, I sell other watches with this movement uh, from other brands. Uh, Junkers and Zeppelin uh, immediately come to mind. And... Um, it's an excellent, excellent movement. It does beat at 20,800 beats per hour, which is an eight times per second tick. And I guess when we, we'll pull it on the movement a little bit later, excuse me, pulling on the second hand a little bit later, you'll see that it's moving super smooth. Uh, so when you wind it, you watch that power reserve needle at the 12, we'll go through the low warning indicator, low energy indicator. We need to energate it, if uh, you know what I mean. Uh, and come up to a full power reserve of about 40 meters. That's winding it one click out. Whoops, that is, that's, I guess I'm at two clicks out. That will change the time. We'll try again, one click out, there it is. We'll change the date. Uh, you know what, I wanna move the hands a little bit more to get them out of the way. So we can examine the gorgeous dial. Uh, so this is called, by the way, this is called the Edgemere Reserve. Uh, they all are around 695 bucks. I probably should show you the strap. This one comes in a beautiful dark brown strap with, of course, a nice sign buckle. Um, I guess I could have removed the plastic from the case back, but it's got, I'm probably not going to be able to do it. I can't. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom in. Uh, it's got the compass rose on the back with the four cardinal directions. And it's just beautiful looking rotor and movement the the uh, rotor is monogrammed but i really want to show you the dial uh, look at the beautiful dial work look at the printing look at the use of color check out the hands look at the hour hand see how the minute hand is kind of the same then terminates in a blue tip 
Look at the seconds hand. Almost invisible, but that extremely present arrow. Look at the chapter ring. Whoops, sorry, grab my glove there. How nice it does, not how nice it is. And you know, really small things, 60 is done in blue. All the other markings are done in black. Just nothing really, nothing really is missed. The blue around the date, how the date porthole really just goes over the date. Uh, you say, I, I, guys, again, I could just go on and on. I'm totally enthralled by the dial work. What a dial. Look at the, the crown, signed crown. I will back it out a bit. There is no loom to speak of on, it, on any of these. Um, so I will not do any loom shots. So here is another version with the white and the, uh, the blue. You can see it's a little bit of a negative, a little bit not. Uh, similar, yeah, but still different. Comes on this very rich ox blood strap. You know, very, very dark red, almost brown, but just really well done. I'm gonna show you the straps are, of course, have their name stamped in it. And just because I think the dials are so great. This one's got a blue hour hand with a blue minute terminating in a red tip and a blue seconds hand. Well, let's there it goes look at the way they do the chapter ring with the colors gorgeous and then the last one i'm going to do is the blue dial they i guess the strap is i'm sorry i'm not really prepared i guess the strap is kind of very very dark blue i don't think it's black uh but again now we've got a blue dial white hands didn't go with blue hands because it wouldn't work you wouldn't be able to see it uh, again, everything is thought out. Everything is well done. Well executed. Gorgeous, gorgeous watch. And by the way, I don't have a picture of their packaging. Their packaging is top notch. Um, usually not a fan of larger packaging, but the way they do it, very good. It almost looks like a book. Pretty cool. I will try one of these on and then uh, we'll be done. So no surprise that it fits fine. It's 40 millimeters. My wrist is six and three quarter. There I am on the strap. So you can go smaller, probably down to about a six and a quarter. And obviously plenty of room on the upside the strap is super supple super soft very nice so there it is below the bone and then for all of you that are yelling at me i can't wear my watch there there it is above the bone looks really nice wow it re it's totally totally striking this has been mark from longhourwatch.com showing you the new martin arrow edgemere reserve please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't Follow me on Instagram. Uh, this will definitely be posted on Instagram before it's on YouTube. Questions, comments, anything else, put them down below, and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.